Clean renewable energy normally breaks down into five distinct types. Hydroelectric, solar, wind, wave and geothermal. Whilst there are issues with hydroelectric power, it is generally being exploited close to its maximum potential, so we'll concentrate on the others at the moment. Solar, wave and wind power, like most renewable sources, are criticised for having a fluctuating output due to, say, the sun not shining or the wind not blowing. Whilst this is true of an individual source, if you have a large number of generators at different locations, localised deficits are made up by surpluses from another area, overall giving more balanced supply than the drop in supply that can occur if a fossil fuel power station was taken offline for, say, maintenance or some other similar reason. With solar power, though, the power output does drop if it is generally cloudy. It will still generate power, though, and it will generate power during the day, which is generally when the power need is greatest. However, it does experience a drop-off during winter months, which in some places is likely to be the season of greatest demand. And as such, wind and wave have an advantage over solar power. Cost is the other barrier most used in resisting more reliance on renewable sources of energy. Now let's face it, all new power stations, no matter what type, are generally very expensive to build. However, since renewable stations have only recently been produced in large numbers, their construction costs per unit are falling rapidly compared to that of alternatives. And this is likely to continue until they come close to parity with that of fossil fuel generators. However, solar, wind and wave generators have minimal on cost whilst actually generating energy. So they don't require um, coal or gas to be used to actually fuel them. So they can be generating at maximum capacity with little additional cost when generating power. This brings us to the most overlooked renewable, geothermal energy. Now, unlike the other sources, this does require fairly considerable costs when actually in operation due to the requirements of pumping and heat exchanging. However, this source also enables renewables to bring the thorny issue of peak demand into focus. Geothermal stations can be activated to cope with expected increase in demand for electricity. They have the advantage um, that their activity Activity is for the most part takes place underground, so they're not regarded as eyesores for those people worried about having a big wind farm or big solar power plant in their back gardens. I would also recommend, therefore, that there should be an increase in the number of wind and wave generating stations and a dramatic increase in the use of geothermal energy as a virtually unlimited source of power for the future. Thank you.